Welcome back to another episode of the Switch Survival Guide. I cannot believe we have already done 50 episodes, and as a special celebration, today's episode is going to be a little different. We are going to do a guide on the top six must-have dinosaurs before level 40. Now, each of these dinos brings something really special to your team, and they will make your life so much easier if you can tame these, and I will teach you what's so great about each of the dinosaurs on this list and how they will totally change your life by taming them. We're also going to show you some of the hidden talents that some of these dinosaurs have and some of these techniques even pro players may not know about, but they'll be very helpful for the rest of your adventures on ARK. We are also going to do some of the names that people have suggested for some of my dinosaurs in previous videos. I've opened these up for suggestions, and we're actually going to name some of these and give credit to the people who suggested them. We are also going to open it up for some of my other dinosaurs to uh, let you guys give suggestions on what names you would like to give them. So we'll open that up on the comments at the end. And I'll also give a special thank you to all of my viewers who have subscribed and supported this channel. Now, this is a Lystrosaur. He's part of our team, but he's not super helpful. If you pet him with X, he will give you a little bit of an experience boost, but he's definitely not a must-have dino, so he doesn't even make the list for the top most necessary dinosaurs for your game. Now, what is incredibly helpful are these Parasaurs here. A Parasaur is probably the first dinosaur you'll tame, and they are incredibly helpful for a lot of different ways. Now, one of the best things about them is they are great pack mules so they can carry very heavy weight and they can move pretty quickly so they're really great for helping you lug your supplies around and if you boost their movement speed you can actually use them as a pretty good reliable mount and you can actually fire weapons off of their backs so when you're riding their back they will actually give you a lot more armor and a lot more health because it's something that attacks you has to kill the dinosaur before it hurts you they can also use the right trigger to gather a lot more berries than you can by hand. And most people don't know about this, but if you hit the left trigger, you'll actually do a little sonar ping, which will tell you if there's any dangerous dinos in that area. Now, it's not a very wide area. As you can see, I'm not showing anything dangerous, but you can see there's a shark a little bit further away down there, and we'll keep pinging and giving you an idea of how far away you can actually sense danger on these things. Parasaurs are also very good swimmers, and if you give them some stats into oxygen, they're actually going to be able to really help you swim faster. Now, as you can see on the top of my screen, it's saying that my Parasaur detected an enemy because it got within range and showed me that that shark was nearby. You can also set their alert settings so that they will actually make a noise when a dangerous dino gets close to your base, which can be very helpful because if you know ahead of time when something's attacking you, then you can be alert and actually stop it before it does serious damage. So Parasaurs are definitely helpful in a lot of ways. Now, a raptor is a much better mount than a parasaur, even though they have lower health and very low weight, they're much faster. So raptors and parasaurs really take on the same function, so I'll count them as the same thing on this tier. Now, the other type that's really helpful is a triceratops or stegosaur. Both of them are amazing at gathering berries. They can gather hundreds of berries in just minutes, and they can be incredibly helpful and triceratops are reasonably easy to tame so you'll probably get one as your next dinosaur as you're going through your game now a stegosaur is much harder to get they're harder to find they're harder to tame but, as you can see, they can just rip through ridiculous amounts of berries in just seconds. So, Normie the Stego here is getting us all the food we need for our entire game. And they're both great at gathering thatch, too. But as you can see, in about 10 seconds, we gathered like 200 narco berries, which will be great for making tranquilizers. 
Now, the uh, Pteranodons here are amazing. You can get them when they're about level 38, and they allow you to fly. And they're the first flyer you get, and uh, the only ones until about level 55, which just makes your life so much easier when you can fly. You can safely scout things out, and uh, you can get yourself anywhere on the island very quickly. And if you press down on the right stick, you can do a barrel roll, which does a ton of damage to enemy dinosaurs, but it uses a ton of stamina, so be real careful when you're using that on a pteranodon. Not a lot of people know about that, but it's a very deadly tactic for doing a bunch of damage to enemies. Another interesting thing about pteranodons is they can actually pick up smaller dinosaurs using the left trigger. It's not super helpful, but uh, you can carry things like Lystrosaurs, sheep, penguins, people. People are much more helpful if uh, your server allows that. And uh, you can also use the right trigger to do a peck attack, but it's very weak and it'll take a long time to kill something. The next item on our list is the beaver, which you actually cannot make a saddle for until you're like level 60 something. But you don't need a saddle to actually use it, and most people don't know about this. If you have it follow you and then stop next to a tree, it will chop the tree down by itself. And as you can see here, we got almost 200 wood just from that tiny little tree. That would have given us like nothing if we were chopping it down with a hatchet. And you can level a forest with a beaver in just minutes and get thousands of wood in no time at all. So beavers are incredibly helpful helpful, and wood is one of the most necessary building materials in the entire game. That's why on this series we did an episode where we tamed a beaver at a very low level. He was one of our earliest tames. Now another dinosaur that will change your life is the Dodicarus. These guys have a saddle that you can get at I think level 34, and you can actually use them just like the beaver to automatically gather stone if you park them next to a boulder. And uh, just like the beaver, you don't need a saddle to do that. But check that out, we got like, I don't know, hundreds of stone in like 30 seconds. These things are crazy. They also reduce the weight of stone by, I think, 75%. And they have this interesting rolling attack, which uh, you can do with the left trigger, which is kind of crazy. So Dodicarus are one of my favorite dinos because they just make it so easy to get ridiculous amounts of stone to build with. Now, ankylosaurs are something like 36 in order to ride them, and they get massive amounts of metal. So when you need metal, you need an ankylosaur. And and uh, a lot of people don't know this, but they're actually great swimmers. If you give them some oxygen stats, they're actually one of the best ways to gather underwater oil nodes, and they can get a ton of oil when they're doing that. Now, unlike the Dodicarus and the beaver, the Ankylosaur will actually not gather metal on its own, so you need a saddle to ride them, so they won't help you a lot until you're level 36, I think it is, that you can actually make their saddle. But when you need metal, these guys are amazing. Also, not a lot of people know this, but ankylosaurs are amazing at gathering flint and thatch. Also, dodicarus are great at gathering thatch, so if you use either of those on trees, you'll get tons of thatch. But we started this example with nothing in this ankylosaur's inventory, and we're gonna have a ton of thatch and flint by the time we're done. Another great thing about an ankylosaur is it reduces the weight of metal by 75%. Also, also, Dodicarus reduced the weight of stone, and beavers reduced the weight of wood, so all of those are great at carrying stuff. And uh, another awesome thing is you can see I've actually picked up some chunks of metal from these boulders. It's rare and you don't get a ton, but you can actually avoid dying all the time going to metal-rich areas with metal nodes by just smashing regular boulders with an ankylosaur. Now, in some of my previous episodes, I have opened it up in the comments to give me suggestions on what to name some of my dinosaurs, and after giving it a little bit of time to come out, I wanted to go ahead and uh, 
use these suggestions for the names of some of my dinos. Now, if your name was not picked, we are actually going to be breeding quite a few of these dinosaurs. And so some of these names, I can't wait to name some of the babies. So uh, we had a suggestion from Noldanus Jenkins to name our female ankylosaur Kyla, which I thought was great because her boyfriend is Ankylo Ren. I am a huge Star Wars fan, and having a bright red Ankylosaur, I just had to go with Ankylo Ren. So that was my name. I'm definitely going to keep that for our male Ankylosaur. Now, our cool red and purple Pteranodon that we got right around Christmas, we had a suggestion for Sugar Plum, which I'm just going to shorten to Plum because it's a little too long to say. But that'll remind us that this cool plum colored Pteranodon came from Christmas. Christmas, and that was suggested by Intergalactic Realm Protection Agency. And uh, our female pteranodon here, which is this cool green color, we are going to name Olive, which was suggested by Lord Veximus. So thank you all of you who have given name suggestions, and uh, it's very likely that if your name wasn't picked already, then one of the babies will likely have the name that you've given to me already. Or, if anybody else has good suggestions for dino names, feel free to drop some in the comments. I'm actually looking to name a couple of my other dinosaurs too. So we have this beaver currently named Chuck, because he's kind of like a woodchuck. But if you have a better suggestion for the name of this beaver, it's a male beaver, and uh, I am definitely open to suggestions. Now, this is Normie, the tech stegosaur. That was suggested by one of our big supporters who's been around with us for a long time. So that was a perfect name for that guy. Now, my Christmas Dodicorus, he's Christmas colors. He's currently named Dode because that was the first thing I could think of in the 30 seconds that I wanted to use to name him. So, that is also up for suggestions, as well as this Lystrosaur. He's kind of derpy, so if you have a good derpy name for him, uh, he's not my favorite dinosaur, as you could probably tell. And uh, we also have a Triceratops that needs a name. Now, Mint the Parasaur, I really like calling that Mint. It's a, just a really cool mint color. But our tech parasaur here could use a really cool techie robot dinosaur name so let me know if you can think of a good name for him and our triceratops also is still Triceratops, so feel free to give us a good suggestion for her, too. So, uh, yeah, I also wanted to thank all of you for all of your support. It has just been amazing to see how much support this channel has grown in such a small time, and uh, we are just doing great. We're getting lots of likes, subscribes, and views, and that's all very recent. This channel is still pretty new, but uh, because of all the support that you guys have been giving for especially this Switch service, survival guide series here. The channel has just been doing really well, so I just want to say thank you to all of you who like and comment, and especially who subscribe and share our content. It just makes a tremendous difference for the growth of this channel. So thank you all for everything you do to support this channel and all of your great comments that I really enjoy chatting with you all. So we'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching this video from the ARK Survival Guide. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, please like this video and subscribe to our channel so we can bring you more great guides like this one. ARK is an amazing game, but there is so much to learn before you can really enjoy it. We are dedicated to bringing you high quality guides, tutorials, and let's play videos that are fun, helpful, clean, and suitable for the entire family. There's a tutorial in this series for everything we have done so far in this video. Check out these playlists for more episodes from this series and other guides to help you enjoy your journey on ARC.